I just wanted everybody to get a beautiful perspective on our skill lab which is there in our institute. So what is this concept of this skill lab? Every medical graduate when he or she graduates not only has to possess the knowledge but also has to have the skills for the practice of medicine as an undergraduate or as a postgraduate. He started this skill lab. The objective of this is clear to impart the aptitude, the skills and the training programs because these skills will later on help them in becoming a better physician, surgeon or whichever branch they pursue. So ours is a state of the art skill lab where you have got the different stations, different mannequins where all the and different clinical scenarios are practiced. For example, the basic life support system, the advanced cardiac life support system, simulations for a normal delivery, the simulations for a trauma patient, the stimulations for a post-operatively critical patients, the stimulations in an ICU. So every clinical scenario is being addressed here. And we have got the necessary instructors and the trainers for that. This is going to assume a very important dimension in the simulated art of learning skills in the undergraduation and in the postgraduation of the medical school. Today we're going to learn about uh, cardiac auscultation. I think so it has an audiovisual component where you can auscultate through your shed scope and hear the various murmurs, systolic murmurs, diastolic murmurs, additional sounds like S3, S4. I will just show you how to auscultate. Probably I will, uh, I'll show you one pan-systolic murmur right away. Uh, <clears throat> we are going to program such a way that we get a pan-systolic murmur. Okay, then all of you aus auscultate in the mitral area. Here the murmur starts with the first heart sound, merges with the second heart sound. We cannot differentiate between S1 and S2. It's a holosystemic quality. Can you hear me? Can one of all of you can try this auscultation? Our students are learning how to give IM injections that is one part of the skill lab. We have uh, 250 medical students now in this undergraduate competency based medical education. Students have to learn the skills as well as learn the cognitive abilities. So for them to learn the skills, for us to teach the skills to students, we use various uh, mannequins which are there in this skill lab and use them effectively to teach and train one-to-one -one hands-on experience is given to each of the nursing as well as medical students apart from that the skill lab also can be used to assess their abilities if you do the collection the airway pass gets obstruction when we start doing bag and mask ventilation when there is when there you see there is no respiration and no heartbeat so this is how to do a bag and mask ventilation. You need to have a number bag and a baby lying there. You need to cover this bag and mask, cover the entire nose and the mouth. And you have to give, and you can see the rise and fall of the chest as well as you can see rise and fall of the lungs. This is the way you can revive the newborn baby. The repetitions will be three chest compressions and one. This is how you can revive the baby. So I've just completed the uh, BLS ACLS program here at Pratima Institute of Medical Sciences, Karimnagar. And I would say uh, it's quite useful for PGs, especially PGs who've taken a branch that don't deal with uh, cardiac emergencies on a day-to-day -day basis. It really served as like a refresher course because I think every doctor definitely needs to know how to provide high quality uh, CPR services. So as because of very uh, limited amount of time, you can do some simple steps which could save the patient's life and I think at Pratima with the high quality mannequins uh, it allowed us to 
combine both theory and practical aspects and it provided like a real life simulation so that we can approach such situations with confidence in our future careers. Once I decide that I want to intubate this patient, the first thing that I need to do is wherever I am there, I need to come to the head end of the patient. So I am coming towards the head end. I will take, this is a laryngoscope. I will take laryngoscope in my left hand and I will open it and see that laryngoscope is working, the light is coming. Once the I see that laryngoscope is working, from right side of the patient, I will introduce the laryngoscope and once I enter the oropharynx, I will just give it a 45 degrees pressure, I will slightly lift it, I will take this uh, endotracheal tube, I will introduce it inside and that's it, You, the patient is intubated. I will put this bag mask, I will attach it and I will see that lungs are infected. That's it. Now, for doing perspiculum examination, you wear a sterile gloves, take a aseptic cream and with two hands of uh, your left hand, separate the labia. This is Casco speculum. It must be lubricated. And how to introduce a speculum place a, because it is in a transverse uh, vertical slit, you place it vertically and then it rotate. After rotation, you separate the open the blades and visualize so what is the structure you are visualizing is the cervix and uh, you are able to see the entire vagina also there are rug rugae are present in the vagina are you able to see the so you have to examine both cervix and vagina We are going to learn regarding the examination of the breast. So now coming to the examination of breast has to be done in a clockwise manner. So from 12 o'clock to again come back to 12, 12 o'clock. So you are going to palpate with your fingers and on the fingers you need to rotate it. Then do it at 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4. So again you complete all around and check for any lump or any thing is much any lumps are present or not so that is a methodology of examination so you can also try and please show me how do you do that The skill lab right now in Pratima actually is a very innovative, a very replenished, a very renovated place which is thriving for us to take us ahead in our real life scenarios. The lab per se itself has a lot of mannequins which can portray us the real situations or the real life scenarios where we can put in our medical skills to practice and to be a better person. Skill lab is uh, like a dream come true and we have a ultra modern uh, Apollo mannequin and a simulator on which A to Z of all the clinical case scenarios and situations can be learned, practiced and also assessed. We would love to thank Pratima for this facility we have been provided with and the enrichment they provide to us with all these facilities so that we can thrive to be better at our passions and to be better at our career so that when we go out into the real world all these circumstances we are going to be facing without our guidance or the seniors above will always help us to be a better dog. Actually, we are all indebted to our visionary and dynamic chairman, sir, Sri Boyan Palisinos Rao, sir, who, are, who has a very futuristic concept and he has uh, uh, envisioned that this skill lab should, is, will be the future and he started this skill lab 